Hey guys, Pukulin here. I'm gonna give you a video real quick. Hey, we had another CME, earth facing. This makes three CMEs in one day, two of them earth facing. Um, Scott Sion put this video together for me. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it, man. He sent this over to me. Um, he hasn't been feeling the greatest, so send him some prayers, guys. But anyway, here we go. Um, watch this sunspot, same sunspot that did it yesterday. You'll see it blow off again. Okay, and Scott shows here in, in different angstroms. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this really, this is nothing to worry about. I mean, it's not. This is even smaller than the one yesterday. But it was earth-facing. So, you know, five years ago, we wouldn't be having this discussion because the sun was way more active. The corona was bigger. There were more sunspots on the sun. Um, there's sometimes, in the past couple months especially, you look up at the sun and it's a blank disk meaning no sunspots. Sunspots is where the majority of our CMEs come from, okay? Every once in a while we'll get a we'll get a good little blast from the sun that doesn't come from a sunspot. Not very often, but it does happen. But yeah, guys, I mean that that CME happened. I mean it did. So we got to talk about it, right? At least a little bit. Now, I'm going to go into this real quick, okay? I take you guys, every time this happens, I take you guys over to this tool, okay? Anytime there's a CME, this is that tracker. Um, they update this tracker two reasons, okay? Now, if you look up here at the top, you see a timestamp, right? A timestamp and date and all that. Now, what this does is, if there's a CME they go update this tool and include that CME new data and then, you know, redo the whole model from that point, okay? Much like a weather model does. It's like a weatherman predicting rain and then they get up in the morning and they wait all day and it doesn't rain, but they predicted rain for that night. What they do is they just go back and adjust their forecast. That's exactly what happens here. Okay, they take the data they have, they try to give some sort of prediction for early warning type of stuff, but it's really hard to do. Now, like I said, we had that one yesterday, Earth facing. The speed of it was 1.3 million miles an hour. Simple math, because the sun's 93 million miles away, which most of us believe that, there's some that don't, and that's okay too. But using those numbers, it would be here in like three, three and a half days. Okay. Now, that being said, if you guys look, right here is that second CME that was not Earth facing. In between the first one that was and then the second one that was Earth facing also. Okay. I went and looked at this tool yesterday after they updated it after that one CME before this one happened, before the second one happened that wasn't earth-facing. I wanted to see how they were predicting this thing to get here. Well, they showed the CME popping off the sun, and they showed it, and as it got out here, it was about three days, three and a half days, according to the timestamp, and it was about that big, and it was still moving out into space, which is exactly what they do. Well, guys, the tool showed that. This tool showed that, and I wish I had taken some video. I'm hoping maybe somebody else did. Because I don't know how to go get back into the archives of the of this tool. I can't figure it out for some reason. If anybody else knows how, please let me know. But they, they have taken that CME off of this. Okay, and it was bigger than either either one of these that just happened. The first CME that happened was the biggest one of all out of all three of these. But yet they took it off of the, the tool. Okay, so when I start this up, you're not going to see anything over here. You're going to see the CME pop off the backside and move that way. Okay, I mean, it's exactly what you're going to see. And watch the time date up here, okay? Because it, it starts at the beginning of the day at 0 hundred hours on the 8th which would be hours before the first CME. So, 
We'll go ahead and play it and let you get let you see it real quick. Okay. Nothing. Nothing towards the earth. Nothing at all. You see the one going off the backside? Where'd the one for the earth go? Why'd they take that off? I seriously this is this actually kind of upsets me because it's just blatant blatant disruption is what they're doing here. I don't see how this can be a technical flaw as far as software issues or any kind of weird computer anomaly type of thing. I don't see it, guys. I don't. I mean, it's almost like it almost has to be intentional. Now, I know we can't just say that it, that it is 100%. It's like we can't say nothing's 100%. All right? But we can definitely use common sense and sit there and, and be like, you know what, guys? I mean, why'd you guys mess with us like that? You know what I'm saying? So this right here is the seed site. This this site, this tool is designed to, to catch CMEs, okay? It takes the data from the LASCO C2 and then from the Core 2 from, from Stereo A, which is the satellite that's, well, let's just do this, okay? The LASCO information or data is coming from this satellite right here. Stereo A... Well, yeah, it, it says it's over here, but I'm not sure, I'm trying to think of how this would be mapped out, but yeah. Anyway, stereo A would be there, stereo B would be here, but we're getting, in other words, two different views from two different satellites, okay? But what they both are designed to do, not necessarily the, the um, data itself, but this tool that they enter the data to, okay? All the information you're getting back from these satellites, they put that information into the LASCO C2 model, okay? And then they, and this, this site actually takes it a step further and they try to show you where CME start and end, okay? This is the one on the eighth. Okay, I showed you guys this the other day. All right, we'll go ahead and, uh, well, let's just, that's it. Start and then stop. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's stop it right there. Dang go on. Why ain't it stopping? Okay, right there. That's the one from the other day, right? Okay. Well, I'm gonna say the other day. This was just twenty a little bit more than twenty four hours ago from right now. Okay. So there's that one. That's what this does. That blue line's the leading edge, the red line, the red plus marks is supposed to try to outline it. But anyway, that's what this tool does. That's why they even made it, okay? Now, this was on the 8th. That's that one I talked about first. Now, one thing I want to do. Okay, let's leave it right there. Now, from 1,600 hours is the last... Uh, image this gives us so we're missing eight hours of data from 1600 to uh 2400 hours right military time you want to go that way with it now you can see that second cme getting ready to happen right there all right so we're going to go the next day here see that all right now we'll, like i said what are we looking at well, we are looking at all this mess over here. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and start it. Pause it. Okay. Now, we, like I said, this jumps around quite a bit because we're not getting continuous data from this. And I don't know why. Um, it does this sometimes, but not all the time. Shouldn't do it all the time. Anyway. This is the second CME that's not earth facing over here. Okay, now we're gonna see the third one kind of start right here. So, let's go ahead and start that up like that and then pause. Oop, sorry. 
it actually shows the whole CME here in just a second. And I'll show you what I mean here. Let you guys watch it for a second. Okay, now I'm going to reverse this back. All right, to the moment where the, where the tool detected it. You guys can see it right now. So, anyway, that's the one that was earth-facing. Whenever you see something pop off the right side of this, on this tool, you need to go look at the SDO to see if it's earth-facing. Okay, because we can't tell exactly where this is at by this tool. We know that the earth is over here somewhere when stuff's going this way, but we don't know exactly. That's why we go look at the SDO. Um, because it's always in the position of the earth looking at the sun, so it gives us a real good idea of what's earth facing and what's not. So, again, I just want to reiterate, guys, that there's nothing to... You know, it's just, it's nothing to be worried about, but we need to talk about this because they adjusted the tool for some reason. Don't know why they, they changed that tool. When they took that CME, its signature off of that uh, CME tracker, that really bothers me. Okay, because they're either intentionally messing with us or the equipment itself had some sort of, the software itself had some kind of uh, malfunction. But anyway, guys, um, that's really all I wanted to bring you guys today. Um, I will uh, be making some more videos here. Um, thanks again, Scott, for making that video up for me. I really do appreciate it. Makes it a lot easier. So anyway, guys, God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.